Okay, you guys, this video is the cure, the cure for adding and subtracting rational numbers because people get it all messed up, and the reason they get it messed up is because their teachers way back in the day uh, forced into their minds all these rules for multiplying positive and negative numbers. And then what happens is our brains try to apply old rules to new problems, and that's a good thing, except for sometimes our brain is wrong. So let's start with something that we know. Don't give up on me yet because this will get better, but I just want to start with the truth here, right? We have 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Isn't that true? And all I'm saying to you is this. 3 plus 4. This is a positive 3 here, isn't it? So when we're adding same signs keep the sign. I didn't say same signs positive. I didn't say this is not a positive times a positive is a positive, right? I'm saying here, I'm checking my math here and saying we, you already knew this. You just never thought about the fact that you knew it, but right, this is true. So look at this for a second. We have this. Negative 3 minus 4 is equal to what? So this is what I'm doing. I'm going, I'm looking at the signs here. I'm saying this is a negative 3 here, right? This is a negative 4 here. So somebody out there who's watching this video is going, yeah, 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 so negative, negative, positive. I get that. That's the brainwashing part that we talked about at the very beginning, but that's not this, right? This, this is addition, subtraction. However you want to describe this, this is not multiplication. So I'm going to apply this rule here. Why is it okay to apply this rule? Because it was true here. It has to be true here, right? We, right? Math is built on, on rules, right? The rules don't create the math. The math creates the rules, and this is how this works. So we have a negative minus a, minus a ne uh, plus another negative. So we have negative plus a negative. So the signs are the same, so we keep the signs the same, and then we add 3 plus 4 is 7 negative 7. Right? You, you might not be that impressed with it, but it works every single time. Right? 5 plus 3 equals 8. Doesn't it? We never stop and think about the fact that well, this is a positive 5. The signs were the same, so we kept this the same. So if I did this the other way around, said negative 5 minus 3, I'm going to stop again. I'm going to take a look and check the signs. Say the signs are the same. Right? So the signs are the same. I'm adding, not multiplying. Signs are the same, so I get the same sign. And then I'm just going to add the numbers. 5 plus 3 is 8. Negative 8, isn't it? I can prove that to you on a number line where we had, we had started at negative 5. And then we'd go 3 less than that. So 1, 2, 3 less than that would be negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, wouldn't it? All right? So there's a ton of ways to prove it. But there are also these just little tricks and rules that just make it work. Let's try this another way. This is something you probably never thought of, but this is just a universal truth. Let's do this, please. Let's do 7. 7 minus 3 equals... Check this out for a second. I look at these two numbers. They have different signs. This is a positive 7. This is a negative 3. All right? Now, I know you're thinking, you're like, okay, positive times a negative is a negative. We're not multiplying. We're adding, right? We're adding. It's all good. Just think, think your way through this for a second. So here's the point here. I'm going to subtract here. 7 minus 3 is 4. The only other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to answer this question. Which number is closer? I'm sorry. Well, that's a lie. Which number? Wow, that was really bad. Which number is farther from 0? Take its sign. That's all I'm going to do here. So I'm going to subtract 7 minus 3 is 4. Then I'm going to look at these two numbers. Which number is farther from 0? So I look. I'm like, here's 7 out here. Here's 0 here. And then here's negative 3. Which number is farther from 0? And you're right. It's the positive 7. So whichever number is farther from 0, you take its sign. So positive is how I got this positive. All right? Let's do it the other way around. A problem that looks similar, but it's a totally different problem and see how that would work, right? This is the cure, you guys. Some of you have always sucked at this, but this is the cure. Watch. I'm going to take a similar-looking problem, but I'm going to do 3 minus 7 equals, right? Now we have a positive 3 and a negative 7. I'm suggesting to you I'm still going to subtract. 7 minus 3 is 4, right? But now I'm going to ask myself this question, right? This is negative 7, isn't it? And this is positive 3. Which number is farther from 0? So I'm going to look at it. Hopefully not to look at it every time in our head, but let's look at it for a second. 
right? So here's zero here, I guess, and then maybe this is my three. And if that's my three, then more than twice the distance this way, one, more than twice the distance here would be negative seven, right? And look, you guys, this negative seven right here is this negative seven, right? This negative seven is this negative seven. Which number, which of these two numbers is farther from zero? It's the negative, so the answer is negative. Look, it's not bad, right? And we're using the same logic that you've always used. Did it before here, you said 7 minus 3. You knew that was positive 4, but you, maybe you weren't thinking about the fact that it's because which of the two numbers is closer, is farther from 0? And the number that's farther from 0, in this case, is positive 7, and therefore the answer is this. All right? Okay, that's, that's my whole story. Uh, I ask you to please go and subscribe to my uh, channel, and I would love to hear your comments and, and hear what you have to say.